Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Naked Audio Tutorial. This is Yong from Azure Audio Hive. So today we have with us a set of a TDK VA200. This is a very old uh, IEM that is quite rare now. And uh, a lot of them uh, have issues with the wire becoming sticky and breaking up. And also the shells are not very uh, well built. So uh, today we are going to do a reshell on it. We will be using the SE535 OEM shells and that there's a lot, quite a bit of uh, parts that you need to make it work. So uh, let's go through the tools needed. So basically we will just need uh, soldering stuff, cutting stuff, gripping stuff. Yeah, and uh, one thing that we might need is the damper removal tool because we are actually going to install dampers. For the parts wise, for the parts wise, uh, we'll of course need our BA two hundred, uh, the shells, replacement damper. Okay, these are for mounting drivers, uh, so we need the silicone mount and the phone damper. Also, we'll need some capacitors. Uh, so this is a uh, surface mount capacitor, two point two UF. This is for the crossover. Okay, we start off by taking a look at the driver. So this is the dual driver unit. So we have a tweeter and the base. Can we see all these uh, small wires linking them up? So from observation, uh, the gold colored wires, uh, they are the ground wires. The red is for this signal, or uh, the woofer. The green is the signal for the tweeter. We are going to need to unsolder all this. And uh, I'll be using the wires that is already uh, here for the connection. So let's just try to remove all the heat shrink. Okay. Not sure if you all can see, uh, but uh, I'll just label the the positive. This is positive. This is positive. And they actually shot the grounds of the both of the drivers together, so we do not need to do the shorting work. Okay, I'll first uh, disorder this. Okay, so now we are left with uh, just the the two positive wires are. We take a look at the, this metal plate here. So we actually need to cut because they are too long. So we use cutter. We do not need to remove it, uh, we just need to shorten it. Why is it so hard? Okay, be very careful uh, when you are working with uh, BA drivers because they are really very fragile, especially the soldering parts. Okay, now we will need to connect the wires. Okay, now, did I even mention uh, we need a female MMCS connector? So, right now, we will solder the ground to the ground. We will need uh, more enamel wires because uh, I have to connect. I have to connect the capacitor. Ok, 
Okay, we'll need two of this here. So one will go direct to the base driver. Uh, because it's actually quite short. Uh. Then the other one will go to the capacitor and then to the tweeter. Okay, it doesn't matter which one. So right now, let's connect. Let's remove the base driver soldering. So this is from the base driver. Okay. I'm very sure you all cannot see, but that's all my camera can do right now. Okay, when soldering BA drivers are, you need to be very careful. Okay, so I've connected the base driver to this one. So this is the tweeter. We need to connect the capacitor to the two final loose wire. La. So let's just get them. Okay, very small, cannot see. Uh, Basically, what we need to do is to thin, put a coating, thin coating on the capacitor. So we need like this to grip the small capacitor. We will thin both sides. Okay. And we will solder the wire. It there's no polarity for this type of capacitor, so you can just solder them uh, in whichever direction you want. But there is a kind. I mean, there's another kind of capacitor that has polarity, so we are not using that today. Okay, I'm really convinced that you all are not going to be able to see this part. Okay. So basically now what we have uh, is from the signal pin, go to the capacitor, go to the tweeter. And signal pin, go direct to the woofer and the ground, go to both the ground. Yeah. Okay, so after this, uh, we actually need to wrap this up with a piece of heat string. We don't want uh, the wires to short when you close up the shell. So just cut any piece of heat string, just wrap it up. So here we go. Now for the fitting, uh, we will be using this, uh, it's like a, it's like a, see, it's like a sleeve that actually helps. To push the thing into the core, into the shell. So it's like a guiding kind of thing. So look at the shell, uh, there is this uh, sound port part and this one, there is some guide we want this to rest against the front uh, tight and you realize that eh, this is not very tight, like it's very, very loose so there is not going to be a seal here is where this uh, foam comes into play we actually have to install it and cut out the shape. So right now, it is in a circle shape. We have to trim it down so that it can fit into this. Uh, the one I'll be putting in the link in the description, uh, it's going to be the ready shape. 
so there is no need to cut but this uh, is for in case uh, you, you got this uh, particular foam that uh, will need some cutting okay. okay so you see uh, the wire broke off this is uh, quite fragile so we need to sort it back again and okay let's try to install this okay the smaller driver below because uh, that's the the shape we want the wires to not be around the slot here because we're actually going to slot the metal back there's a slot here lah. we're going to slot the metal piece back here okay see now it's a lot tighter so there is uh, some compression and uh, we can get some sort of a seal okay so it's slot in nicely and it's not going to drop up yeah so now we install the connectors and fit whatever is needed to fit inside like the capacitor okay so after this step uh, we can actually close up and, and finish the job and glue it up but uh, we actually need to test first so I'll just put it this way so basically after this step uh, we just need to install the damper and uh, we do the same for both sides give it a test sound test if you have a measurement mic, use it to make sure that it's balanced. And uh, we, we are done for the mod. Uh, to close it up, you just need to use super glue, apply a needle. Using needle to apply one round, that's it.